With its outlaw cowboys, gunslinging lawmen, and intrepid pioneers, the story of old Arizona epitomizes the Wild West. But is the story real, or is it legend? As Tombstone Mayor John Clune put it, 19th century Arizona is commonly portrayed as a place where lawlessness and aggression were the order of the day, every day. At least one dead man was provided for breakfast each morning, and it was not uncommon for a man to bury his wife in the morning, kill a man before noon, and marry another woman before sundown. You'll follow the gold, silver, and copper rushes that populated Arizona and head down mine shafts with miners like George Whitwill Parsons. I used to think the laboring man's a hard life at the best, but their work is child's play alongside of this. The terribly cramped and strained positions at times and strength required enforces a great physical strain and much nerve when the swinger of the heavy sledgehammer has to aim over and draw in to prevent hitting you, and sometimes will graze the edge of your mustache. And when the state legislators voted on where to move the capital, Phoenix won because of something a prostitute swallowed. Anyway, that's the legend, and we're sticking to it. In the Wild West issue of Phoenix Magazine.